How to Ottoman. How to Ottoman? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm I Jay think Martin. Green or is better for someone, something else? They say it again, Carlo. I'm just saying for Blagueder, Ottoman isn't really a nation. Well, I'm nation. I'm Jay Martin. Hard, you know? I'm here with a couple guys in the chat, one of whom Emperor Napoleon. It's Delta. And De and Delta, what do you want to do? We're going to be doing how to Ottoman. How to Ottoman. There's a couple ways to Ottoman. Melee. Lots right. Of bazooks. So. And so much janitors. The question you want to ask, answer first of all is kind of what are the rules? And a lot of people say a limit on three melee infantry. Um, uh, I see. Yeah, mainly three melee infantry. So your, your best melee infantry is the janissary, right? Uh, yes. And then, don't... you go ahead. Uh, I don't normally play as the Ottomans. It's just something that I can start doing because if I go on pyramids and stuff, I think Ottomans have like the advantage over, say, if you picked the uh, Prussia in Britain. Exactly, and the the reason for that is the heat fatigue, right? Mm -hmm, because if they march in the heat, they get better. Like Russia, if they march in the snow, they're better. Exactly. And then the other thing you can think about is that the Ottomans are fairly cheap, so you can usually bring the fancy general. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, like Spain. I love Spain, but that's, uh, that may be for another video. So. Okay. So I'm just going to make an army real quick. Um, I'll tell you what I'm bringing this Prussia. I'm bringing a general staff for uh, light. Uh, four Prussian Fusiliers. Uh, I think it's the second or third best light infantry in the game. Then I'm bringing six Musketeers, three Foot Guards, and I am bringing three Lancers, one Brandenburg, and one Tarkovsky. Okay, sounds good. Now, Ottomans aren't super great on Grassy, which is the map we're playing, but we're just kind of demonstrating in our army mm -hmm. and also never use camel gunners um well that is good advice but i think they're cute <laughs> so you know what i don't, what? Yeah. Clan, just... <laughs> I don't no. like dragoons either i don't know why i just don't i'm bro i'm bringing lancers because one wise person told me mangu died don't bring any of the uh, Russian cavalry to Well, he never really said them exact words. He just said, Lancers are best. Choose Lancers. It's good advice. Oh, Depends for what? Uh, Prussia. That is true. Um, uh, if, but if I was France, I normally bring seven Cheshire Cavalry. Depends on the yeah. map. That seems like a lot. On grassy, I bring seven. Sure. Because they're, yeah, because they're so maneuverable. But if I'm if I'm being tab if I'm playing on a bumpy map, uh, I wouldn't pick France. I'd probably pick uh, Britain or something. I don't know how to lay out an army. I tried doing double line like you were doing in a video, but I could couldn't do that. What do you mean? A uh, dual line where you put your lights on the left and then you put your musketeers or whatever you had on the right and then behind. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at that. But I'm, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. I am not that professional. I'm not Warren level. Few of us are. Um, one thing that I hate about Napoleon is when people ready up and they haven't even asked you if they're ready or not. 
That is a very good point. A really polite way to do it is to, in your chat window, just say, I'm ready. When say, I'll ready when you're, when you're. Yeah. Because like the one thing I hate is when you're, when you're Spain, uh, when you're Spain and you're figuring out where to put your guerrilla troops um, before the gate. And then I, some people, ready up, and I'm only like doing the guerrilla troops, so I'm rushing back, getting uh, everything sorted out, and it's just very hard. I'm getting ready to be beaten by Jay Martin, but it's not my fault he started nine years before me. I would have been four. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna click go. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go quite high so I can see you. Okay. Got your Lancers, that's good. I think a good tip early game is that you have maybe entire army in a group or two groups when you start the oh, game. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm moving like armies. I mean, I think your formation's pretty good. Might want to no, keep keep your uh, keep what? Well, m maybe. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I know you're moving as a group, but maybe keep your cav behind a little bit. The cav is to protect the um, it lights while they form up. Okay. Also, one thing I did wrong the first time ever, I don't know if it was with Mangadai, but I charged my, charged my uh, Lancers in straight away. Uh, tried to get after these lights, and I severely lost. Yep, never charge cavalry without difficulty support. Uh, and also, I love this Napoleon quote, never interrupt your opponent whilst he's making a mistake. Yeah, it is pretty clever. Napoleon was full of uh, quotes, so was Arthur Wellesley. What did he say um, about the cannons? If, like, the cannon what? What was it about? Oh, I forgot. It's like, uh, the cannons will pound and who would pound the longest? Or something like that. That almost sounds like, um, Nelson. Nah, it's definitely not Nelson. It's... I know it's... I, I, I know it's Arthur Wells. Right? It's not because I was watching his documentary. I know what you've done. The zoops are to distract distractions. Yeah. To lure me in. Oh gosh, I made a little mistake there. doing a bit of disruption aren't you? And that's another video I watched. Oh he took a 
light out. Oh, that was good. That was good. I was like, I saw the square. Better take handle of that, but you killed my left flank. Oh, I just charged your general perfectly. Did you kill it? Aha. Oh. That was good, wasn't it? Okay, you got the infantry, so that went pretty good. Oh, Jesus. There's... Oh, I thought you got the captains then. Oh. Run these men. Run, getting line. This is not how to ultimate, I think it's more how to destroy me. Well, th this this is not typically how you ultimate. Nice charge again. But we're getting a fun game in, so it's cool. Yeah, this has probably been one of my best, like, closest games actually against a good player. Maybe because he was Ottoman Empire on Grassy Blood. Oh, you keep getting me on your right. Nice it's job. Cause I put all my, it's because I put all my heavy troops in the, on the right. And it's right. actually a really good plan to do that. I can't put them in square, so I was like... Uh, melee charge the mounted Nissan Credit. Fall back and do a fun last stand. Huh? I know I just charged. I tried to get your general thinking they would go around, but no, they didn't go around. Jack Yanison is so good in melee. I know the melee troops, but it's not supposed to be that good. <clears throat> so if you look at the field right now, what's kind of a thing you'd notice? Or what, what's something you might learn from this? Um, I don't know, to be honest, because I, I did well thinking about it. Mm -hmm. uh, use the middle thing. I don't know. It's like, it's something to do with the left side. I left you over, I let you over in my left side. Okay, yeah, that, that's probably true. To watch my left side a bit more. Well, it's more about at the beginning of the game you had an advantage in the range of your lights, right? I didn't use them correctly. I think that's a little harsh, but you could have used that range a little harder. Why are you charging why are you moving them credit infantry so close? So they get better accuracy. Yeah, they're 
terrifying musketeers. And then what I also want to do is be able to get my shooter cav in a little closer. And actually, let's just do this. Oh, square. There you go. Good job. I didn't form it in time because I don't have a key bind. I have to go over to um, it. Oh, no, not again. No. There was square. No, it wouldn't let me in time. I said I marched, I'm, I'm just gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, but you saw it, so that's still pretty good. The general charge! I love charging the general at the end. I know it's like, makes my stats look bad, but charging the general is actually really cool. Good. Put it in squirt. How many kills do you think I've got? Oh, I don't know. We can look at the results screen at the end. There's a lot of dead Ottomans on there... the right side. I've only, do. I've only got about nine units left. I've got one. I've got two actually, including my gen. Do you know what I like doing? I like zooming up on the units because I have full epic settings on. So I like zooming up on the units and see in their like view of it. Mm. To be honest, being square against the melee units is good as well. So Delta, you were telling me you play a lot of Rocket League? Not a lot though. I like playing Empire Total War, because they have fun artillery with the Ottomans. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm alright at playing Total War Troy. Um, and then I play Rocket League, Hearts of Iron 4, that's basically the main game to play, but I only play like Empire, Napoleon, Hearts of Iron 4, the main four games. Alright. Oh, I, I actually killed quite a lot. 1,024. Yeah, you almost as many as I did. Mm -hmm. You killed 1,149. Uh, so, we've done how to train Delta to become better, and also what build for Ottomans to pick. And that seems like a pretty good afternoon, man. Uh, uh, what time is it for me? And it's a good evening for me, as it's quarter past ten. Quarter past ten. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. And you played. Uh, it's just after two for me. Oh, I see your Pacific. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you carry on what you was gonna say. Oh, I, I thought you did great. The you. the comment I was gonna make earlier is the person who still has their cav left at the end has a pretty big advantage. Mm -hmm. So you just want to be really careful with how you throw them in there. I did a pretty good cav charge, ch charging your general, but I shouldn't have told you. <laughs> well, this is true, and you're getting at one of my biggest flaws, is I always just totally forget about my general. Yeah, and my flaw is I can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Because when I'm playing Hearts of Iron 4, I tell them if I'm declaring war on them or not. Right on. And then they get me. They, then they all team up on me and I lose. Even when I'm the Soviets. Anyway, so that was pretty fun to play with you for the first time. Um, I get what mangu I get what you mean, no offence, but you said about yourself that you're not as good as he used to be. <clears throat> but you look better in your videos. You look so good in your videos. Sure. And you crumble everyone. That's Britain. Alright, man. I got better. Right on. 
All right, well, let's follow this up and maybe play again in a week or so and see how you're doing. Sound good? I, I'm thinking next episode would be Portugal using the Casadores. Okay, we can do that. Portugal, you got it. Mm-hmm.